right, boys. Let's give these people what they came for. All right? These are our fans. This is our house. Let's get that W for these youngins. Yo, what's going on everybody? South Park King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I would like to welcome you guys to the Western Conference Finals Game 4. It's the Portland Trail Blazers looking for a sweep against the Los Angeles Lakers. You already know how we do. I'm about to jump up off this scores table and get this game started. But I just wanted to let you guys know this is a fair warning. I know the title really doesn't seem like I'm giving away the game and things of that nature. But I'm going to tell you right here, right now, and no, do not skip to the end of this video after I tell you this, guys. I did not score one single point. Did I come out to win? I'm not going to tell you. But I already know by now, guys have already probably went to the end of the video and probably are like, oh my god. But I'm not going to give this video away. Now, one thing I will say is, this was a very competitive game, offensively and defensively. It seemed like neither team really wanted to give up any points, but it seems like when you're playing on Hall of Fame, and you're doing what you need to do to win the game, it seems like the scores just get ran up. It's nothing that you're doing wrong, it's what the computer is making you do. Now, me, you guys, I remember back, I, I would say a few weeks ago um, when a new patch came out, you guys were asking me, hey, Apa, can you run plays? And I was like, you know what? Why not run plays? Why not make it a little bit more realistic? But as soon as I start running plays, things start getting even more unrealistic. Now, this is why I say this. Waza Now. If you guys don't know who Waza Now is, something's totally wrong with you. That's like my main man on YouTube. Like, me and him is like hand in hand. Like, when, when shit go down, that's who I hit up. You know what I'm saying? So, basically... He hit me up on Skype and was like, yo, Carter, you, you, you can't believe the shit that just happened to me. And I said, well, what's up, bro? He was like, well, I just gave CP3 hell. I said, oh, well, I did that before, too. He said, no, you're not understanding me. I had over 20 dunks in seven-minute quarters. I said, so you're telling me you had, like, 20 highlight plays. And, like, I asked him, did you get subbed out? He said, yeah. I was like, so what signature skills are you running? He said, well, I got the... The, uh, not the lockdown defender, but he said he had the defensive anchor, he had the uh, the floor general, and I think he had Dimer and two others. Now, he said every team that he just happened to so be playing was actually making it so much easier because when he start running plays, things just start getting out of hand. Like, this is what he would do. He would come down the court, cross somebody up real fast, run through them, and then dunk. That's the only play he knew. And he, he's like a master at this. He will throw a off the backboard alley oop to himself in a half court offense. Like that's the type of stuff Waza now does. Me personally, I don't do that. I try to make it a little bit more realistic, taking jump shots, trying to shoot threes, going in when I'm getting double teamed and stuff like that. But this guy, when when you call this a game, he makes it an arcade game. That's one thing I will say. But the first quarter is coming to an end. You guys already know what I mean by when you're playing on Hall of Fame, the scores just seem to get ran up. It's 26 to 25 before this quarter was over. Now it's 28 to 25 with 2.8 left. That is un it's it's realistic in real life, but in a game you wouldn't think that the scores would get ran up that much. Me personally, I'm not the type of guy to complain, argue. But I know you guys already see here, I still have zero points. I have eight assists and we're up. Now, what I'm going to tell you is the reason why we're up is because the defensive plays that I'm calling is either man-to-man, -man, half court press, or half court trap. I, I don't run full court press anymore is because I, I realize I start getting burnt more defensively. Now, the offensive plays that I'm running, oh man, I'm going to tell you this now. Floppy base, as you guys seeing it on the screen right now, floppy base is the most, oh, it, this play right here is golden. No matter what you do, a three-point shot is going to get shot and made. I'm going to show you the stats at the end of the game, team steps and all of that, but I want to let you guys know right now, you can run certain plays to keep up with Hall of Fame. You don't have to do it yourself. A lot of people always say, oh, man, you're playing on pro. Like, it's funny how it's either Hall of Fame or pro. 
I know a couple people that play on All Star. I know a couple people play on Superstar, and I know a ton of people that play on Hall of Fame. But what you guys have to understand is, as a commentator, it's like you have to play on the hardest difficulty, or you guys aren't gonna believe shit we say. <laughs> like really. So what I want to tell you guys is to keep up with Hall of Fame, you need to get your teammates to score. You need to get the defense to double team your teammates and in order to do that you have to set up plays for these guys to score it's, it's the only sensible thing i can think of now me personally going into halftime without any points and a high number of assists you guys would think ipod is playing on pro no what i'm doing is wesley matthews has 22 points he is really stepping up his game 22 points in the first half is unreal for somebody like wesley matthews but what you got to think about is, with me not putting out any scoring input, I'm passing to certain guys when I shouldn't pass it to them, which is opening up doors for other guys, as well as the plays that I'm calling for Batum, Matthews, Aldridge, and Drummond. You've guys seen alley-oops in the first half. You've seen nice bounce passes for nice mid-range jump shots. You've seen the back door screens popping off for three-point shots, just like this play right here. This stuff is golden. But let's get into halftime. The second half is going to be live, so you definitely want to don't want to miss it, y'all. I'll be back. Now, presented by Sprint. Hello out there and welcome to the Halftime Report as the conference finals continue on 2K Sports. Out at the Rose Garden, it's the Trailblazers in front against the Lakers. Get out your brooms. They're looking for a clean sweep of this series with a win. The first half performance of Wesley Matthews was terrific. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch from the field, no question about it. And for the Lakers, they've been battling. And give them credit defensively. They're boxing out, controlling their defensive backboards. Steve Nash has been doing his thing. He's got eight points. He's been dynamic on both ends of the court, finding teammates, playing tough D on the other end. And that'll do it as the second half is about to start. Man, just because you guys keep coming down the score don't mean I won't go up 20 on you. You got D. Howard on me. You lucky this is not a game where I want to score. I would torch D. Howard right now. Man, let me set up this play real quick. Ah, come on, set the screen next time. Aldridge, thank you, hit me. Come on, Drummond. That's right. Come on. Cut back door, baby. We got two seconds left. Mm. Hold up. Hold up. Put your arm up, baby. Flex on him. Oh, you got to flex on him. Drumming? Come on, baby. You got to flex next time. Uh, I wish I could have went for that inbound still. I hate when I get stuck in them stupid animations. Don't pass it to Nash. He's been having a hell of a game. Oh, come. Oh, please. Oh, come. Get the... Wow, Kobe is unstoppable on this game, boy. He can pull off so many moves. Ah, uh, look at that. Hey, Nash, where you at? Hold up. Cut. Uh, nice pass. Come on, Leonard. Cash. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to get dimes all night. <laughs> I'm turning Rip City into Dom City easily. Uh, let's see what I got against Nash. Let me put that pressure on. Oh, that should have bumped him. Ooh, nice alley. Did I get dunked on? Hold up. Run that back. Did I get dunked on? Oh, man. All right, Nash. Uh oh, Hezzy. Ah, I ah, should have passed. Come on. I tried to pass it to the little young boy. All right, nice bounce pass. Uh oh, Wesley Matthews getting right past him. And they giving him a replay. It's the playoffs. Playoffs? Oh, that's that Jada Kiss voice. Don't mind me. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Now, let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris? Guys, it was the stretch by the Trailblazers that garners the uncontainable game today. They came out at halftime on a mission and seized control of the game by putting together that big scoring run. If they can keep it going, they'll walk out with a W. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that was quite a run, guys. That made a big impact on where we are right now. Yeah, I think that's safe to say, Kevin. It was a major turning point. You know, they really hit on something that, in the blink of an eye, had them scoring almost a uh, let's play some defense, guys. Stop Kobe. He having a hell of a game right now. Man, I wish me and him could go at it in scoring. Yo, I think I have to show him what it is. This game, last game, he got me. Oh, Kobe, cookies. We out. I got the steal. Don't pass it to me. I'm not scoring. Ah, nice pass. Come on, Matthews. Ah. It's all good. You going to the line. That's all that matters. 
Uh, here we go with another inbound play. I wish I could go get it right now. I want to catch an alley you pass for a dunk so bad. Ah, come on. Who set my pick? Who? Nobody? Nobody set my pick? Uh oh, hold on. I, I see Batum lurking. He's lurking. Come on for three. Cash. Mm. All right, y'all. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, Aldridge, don't fall on your face trying to set a pick, bro. I should have threw the alley oop. Okay, nice little uh, close range shot right there. I could dig that. Everybody, get back on defense. No, no need to do all that. Oh, what the? F I said get back on defense. How you gonna let Paul Gasol dunk on y'all though? Come on. All right, come on, Batum. I'm right here. Take the pick. Come on, take the screen. Come on, I'm following you. Aldridge, look, I set a screen for you too. No. Uh oh, Drummond. Yo, Drummond really all that. Yo, I love the trade that we got JJ Hickson for Drummond. I, that was a perfect trade. I love that trade right there, man. I right, first had five points and four points. Your bad, Jameson. You ain't having a hell of a game, I see. All right, don't clear it out for me. I, I'm not scoring. Floppy base. Yes, that's my play. That's my set play. That's how we gonna get these points rolling. Uh oh, Wesley. Oh, he didn't just do that. Ooh, and he made <laughs> turn around with Jay, though. Like, that's, that's what you're doing right now? Jamison, what, what's up with you? Do you want to play any defense? Jamison must already know what the deal is. Like, all right, let's see what Steve Nash got on offense. He, he's been having a great game as well, though. He's been showing me what it is. Look at this, going in for the layup, even though he ain't make that one. He's still showing some aggression. I like that, at least. Uh-oh, the seconds are rolling down. All right, let's see what we got here. Batum, floppy base. Well, that's all I know. <laughs> Come on, let me get my little dribbles on. Can I get a little ankle breaker? Double move action going on. Double move action for three. Cash. Ew. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? We're going to have to celebrate a little early, man. We're going to have to celebrate early. Yeah. 7.1 seconds. That's all that matter. Game over. I'm sorry, Nash. I'm sorry this had to happen to you, bro. Oh, dang. Yo, Nash really treating me right now. Damn. Greg Oden didn't pan out, so they drafted iPod. David caught a perfect picture like a tripod. A point guard that delivers like Papa John's. Me drafted as the front page topic. I'm Philly Pride, Team Villanova. Finesse game, but the heart of a soldier. When I go to the rack, there's no stopping me. Better bring a double team, better stand properly. <laughs> On defense, move your feet, taking the blaze to the chip to abuse the heat. I was raised like a crip cause I ruled the street. Not the court, the blacktop, the moves, the heat. Pull off, it's like the late, great, great Magic Johnson. I got drafted 11, that was nonsense. Name a player that penetrates better. Number 15 on the polo sports sweater. Chris Paul better pass the torch fast I'm the weatherman on the court, the forecast Said it's gon' rain, I'ma bring pain Double team Dave Carter bet I go lame I'm the king, LeBron better step off He kicked the door down, I'll blow the deck off No rookie in this league can get with me Most points, most assists, better make history History, history Yep, I'm back, y'all. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching the Conference Finals Game 4. Yes, I did it. No points, 26 assists, and we got the win. That's all I'm saying, man. It, we, we definitely pulled out the win. I definitely like what we did here. But I do want to show you guys the stats and show you why we won. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, man, you're just abusing the game. You're abusing the AI. You already know what they're going to do. Well, as a gamer, 
I'm just gonna let you know this now. I've been playing 2K since it first dropped on Dreamcast. So me knowing what the AI is already gonna do, that's just the way the game goes, man. It ain't my fault I know how to play the game. But check it out, man. 14 for 20 from three-pointers. That's why we won this game. Let's get into the press conference. Wow, that's three sweeps in a row, bringing your team all the way to the finals without a single loss. Do you feel like the pressure is on now not to just get the title, but to keep this streak alive and make some history? Well, to tell you the truth, I do want to keep this streak alive, but we're about to go up against one of the best teams in the NBA, undoubtedly. I don't know what's going to happen when we go to Miami, but all I can say is hopefully we can keep this sweep going. It's been a great run. And I love my guys, man. This is Portland. This is Rip City. Let's go. Nah, nah, nah. It's no pressure. We know we're the best team in the league, and we've been showing it so far. And by keeping our level of play this high, teams are going to fear us going in. And that gives us an instant advantage, even in the finals. So I already feel like we got a leg up, and there's no reason to think we can't sweep again. In fact, I expect it to happen. Let's go. <laughs> I got a lot of my man for being cocky, but this is IKC signing out. Like I said before, thanks for watching. Peace.